these cables aren't very expensive well worth the money I mean the fact of the matter is is by installing these cables your system will be a lot more fluid I think <laughs> I have no clue what I'm talking about but good morning guys and welcome to another episode of Bubba's Garage I hope you guys are having a fabulous day Hope you guys really enjoyed the Q&A video that we did just the other day, and I greatly apologize. It was kind of long, but it's really hard to answer like a lot of those questions in the shortest amount of time as possible. I think maybe I learned a few lessons. Next time we'll do a Q&A, maybe we'll actually split up some of the answers so that we, we, we can make it a little bit more entertaining and not so drawn out. Yeah. It was like 25 minutes long, so I greatly apologize. That's not our norm right here on Bubba's Garage. Most of our videos we try to keep between five and eight minutes for the most part. But today, it's cold, it's wet, it's yeah. gloomy. We're gonna spend some time on the four-wheeler project. If you guys recall, on our last episode right here on Bubba's Garage, when we worked on the four-wheeler, we had some brake problems. So today, we're gonna replace most of the linkage and all that kind of stuff on the brakes. We've already replaced the brake pads and re-greased the stuff. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So today, we're gonna replace all of the linkage. This is the little bracket that goes on the back. This is the spring. This is the this is the wear indicator thingamajigger, and we're gonna replace all of the cables that go up to the handlebar. So we're gonna have one cable running down the handlebar, one for the foot brake, and one for the reverse lever. But before we can do that, we have to take all of this stuff back off again. So let's get started. Shut, Shut up, up and sit down. down. Alright guys, we got the parts off. It actually didn't take that long at all. I mean, it, it went really, really quick and that's probably because we took it off in a previous episode right here on Bubba's Garage. But the first time that we took these components off, they actually took a really long time. So you got to work with it a little bit. But looking at the parts, this is the part that actually came off. It, it's actually not that bad. It's got a little bit of wear in it. Not, not really that much. No. My ultimate goal in replacing all these components was really looking at the spring because I was afraid maybe the spring was kind of wore out. I didn't know what an original spring would look like or how much tension it might give. And honestly, I don't really, I really don't think these three components need to be replaced at all. I, I really don't. But we already got them. We're going to go ahead and replace them right here, right now. And well, hopefully. It just, it just lasts longer. I, I really don't know. I don't know. But I will mention, if you're going to install these components on your ATV, one of the things that you need to take note of is the little dot on that gear. This dot will line up with another dot that's actually on the shaft that goes to the brakes. We have already taken this felt grommet out and oiled it up in a previous episode, so we're not going to do that today. But if you haven't done that, Go ahead and pull that little felt grommet out, oil it up, and stuff it right back in there. First up, installing the spring is actually really simple. There's a hole here, and you just slide that little fella right about there. Wear indicator actually has a larger notch. It will actually fit on the shaft and match up with the larger knot. So that should be pretty easy, but let's just see. Alright guys, we got our new levers in and I'm not going to lie, that was a booger bear. Yeah. That was a booger bear. Bobby finished it off. I really think our shaft should have been replaced at the exact same time. We didn't do that, but that's okay. We're going to go ahead and move forward now. We have to install all of our cables. We got the foot brake cable, the hand brake cable, and a reverse cable to install. Bobby's going to put the butterflies on and then we're going to attach the front end. So the first up is our rear brake cable. In the bracket that we just recently installed, there is a hole in the top and a hole in the bottom. The rear brake cable, the foot brake cable, <laughs> goes into the one on the bottom. Okay, babe, the rest is all you. Next up is our front brake cable and it goes through the top hole in the brick lever thingamajigger.
Now that that's ran and it's locked in and secure in the handbrake, now we can tighten up the butterfly and let's see if this little fellow will work out. Then we'll move on to our reverse cable. The reverse cable actually goes from your handbrake down to the engine component part area thingamajigger and we don't really think we need it but we're going to install it anyway. This end goes to the engine, we'll hope that it lasts. Right now we're going to run this up and we're going to install it on the handbrake so I assume we're going to go through here first. Right babe? Yep. I'm guessing that little hole right there. And if it doesn't work, we'll just use this. It's just what we do right here on Bubba's Garage. All right, guys, we got all the cabling and everything in place. Everything is adjusted. Yeah. I think we're ready to test this little fella out. What do you think? Yeah. We did the best we could. I mean, guys, this is Bubba's Garage, and you know, we don't do this stuff every day. It, you, we learn as we go, so um, you just never know what's gonna happen. I'm gonna test this right now. I'm gonna drive it out back. Worst case scenario, I won't wait get through the fence, or if I go through the fence, I'll literally go through, through the, the fence. fence. So <laughs> um, we're gonna test this out real fast and see, uh, see if old Bubba did something right. Let's see, you ready? Yeah. Shut up and sit down. So there you go guys we we kind of have brakes i mean it needs a little bit more adjustments but we do have brakes yeah. so it's definitely a plus side may not go through the fence all the way but partly a little bit it, the, they'll slow you down before you hit the fence so you don't just burst through it definitely you'll just knock so, it over so progress is definitely good you guys have been following us right here on brother's garage well we got a lot of stuff to do this four-wheeler so definitely stay tuned to future projects like oh, yeah. front brakes we also have a starter to replace we have the electronic shifting mechanism that we're going to replace we're going to do an exhaust system we got a yeah. lot of stuff to do right here on this four-wheeler so definitely definitely do me a favor and hit the subscribe button so you can stick around and find out what happens next with this project Project. Outside of that, I think we're going to wrap up this video today. I think so. Yeah. I think so. But guys, if you like this video, do me a favor. Give us a huge, huge thumbs up. And if you really like the video and you want to stick around and find out what happens next, right here on Bubba's Garage, definitely subscribe. Until next time, we'll see you on the flip side. Good night, everybody. Good night.